Usaka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa NTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas dos. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas dosi. Mayor Chan mibutyag sa plano kung makalingkod kini isip sakop sa board sa MCIAA. Kapulisan nagmonitor karon sa mga piki ng kuwarta. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa News Ang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Ano mapaligon pa ang koordinasyon sa Mactan Cebu International Airport Authority o alang sa kayuhan sa syudad sa Lapu-Lapu, mo'y tumong ni Mayor Junard Ahong Chan kung siya ang makalingkod isip sakop sa Board of Directors sa MCIAA. Si Chan maingon na daghan siya og mga plano sama sa pagpaayo, pagpalambo sa siguridad o uban pa niya sa airport. Dako usab nga tabang sa syudad ang paghatag o solusyon o matubag ang mga concern sa mga international ng mga tugpahanan alang sa dugang kaluwasan o seguridad sa mga bisita. Niya itong Mayo Karunga Tuiga, giaprobahan na sa katulog katapusang pagbasa sa House of Representative ang House Bill No. 7798 nga nag-almindar sa Section 6 sa Republic Act No. 6958 o gitawag nga Charter of Bamaktan Cebu International Airport Authority. DILJ Secretary Benhor Abalos, ikatakdang mudoaw sa syudad sa Lapu-Lapu, karong buwana. Kinaroon pagtambong sa duha kakalihukan niya ipahigayon sa maong dapit. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Patch Anthony Inso. Gikatak ng Muduaw sa siyudad sa Lapalapo si Department of Interior and Local Government kundi ILG Secretary Benhur Abalos kinaroon sa pagtambong sa duha ka kalihukan sa siyudad nga Maambida 2023 run o ang pag-istalar o ang marker sa barangay kahuagan isip drug-free barangay. Bato ni Lapalapo si Timir Junard Ahong Chan nga ang siyudad ni Kumit o ga Jasmil ka mga partisipante sa mga fan run di Intoyo Nini mga paghatag o awareness sa publiko kalabot sa pakigbatok sa ginadiling drogas. Ang bida ko na buhay ingatan droga ayawan ang Osaka National Government Advocacy. So, uh, Preparal ka no? because uh, plano si SILG, Secretary Benor Abalos na mo may gayo ta hindi o pinaran. No? So, um, ato ah, we meet 10,000 uh, mo participate uh, mo join in na ito ah. sa pandan? Pandan, ya. Yeah. Ang panran himoon karong Hunyo 25, diin mahimo makaparehistro nga ito sa buhatan sa City of Lapu-Lapu Office for Substance Abuse Prevention kung close-up o sa Local Youth Development Office. Ang registration fee mo balor o 400 pesos. Samtang sa dili pa ang mga event sa Hunyo 24, si Abalos ang gikatakda ng Muduaw sa Barangay Kauhagan. Kiniaron sa pag-istalar sa marker nini isip drug-free barangay. Gyan ko ninoon ni Chan nga dako kining hagit ka nila. Hinungdan nga padayan ng ilang pagigalayon sa mga law enforcement agencies o sa barangay aron sa pagsiguro nga dili makasud sa mga nga barangay ang ginadiling drogas aron mapabili ng ilang estado. Yes, of course. Uh, medyo muna, no? Uh, I, I think, gikan sa paglingkod na to, it's been four years na nga uh, na-maintained yun na sa kawagan ng drug freesia. Uh, siguro, muna, na uh, tulo bantay yun. Um, atong mga para officials no in coordination with the with the local governments and the police na naa dito na assign na uh, walay druga na makasulod sa mga mga patch and sunny in so cc tianus Nabantayan nga doon naghihapoy mga bangko nga dili mo dawat o national ID sa nagkadaiyang transaksyon. O gubikan ni ini ni Duso o Resolusyon si Cebu City Councilor Ray Gyalon nga nag-auhag sa Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas nga nagpasidaan sa mga bangko nga, nga dawato ng usaka government issued ID sa mga transaksyon o usan ni ini ang uh, Phil ID o national ID. Bisan o klaro na kaayo nga nalatid sa balaod sa pagdawat sa National ID sa bisan unsa nga transaksyon ado na gihapoy mga bangko nga wa musunod sa mao nga lagda. 
kapulisan sa Central Visaya sugot karon sa ilang monitoring ng grupo nga nagpakatap og piki nga kwarta human na dakpan sa CIDG7 ang usa ka lalaki nga namaligya og piki nga 1000 pesos ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante Human madakpan sa Criminal Investigation and Detection Group si IDG7 ng usa kalalaki sa City Magsaysay barangay Pasil sa Dekmen Sugbo nga namaligya og peke nga tag usa ka libo og 500 pesos ang kapulisan sa Central Visaya sugod karon sila nga pagmonitor sa mga suspitsado usa sa mga police official sa CIDG7 nga mihangyo nga dili lang magpahingalan nang kanayon nga silang imbestigasyon daghan ang nalambigit sa pagpakatap sa peke nga piso bill nga posibleng naana sa mga kamot sa mga tawo gumikan ni ila karon nga gipaubos sa investigasyon kinsa kining nga tig-imprinta sa mga, mga peke nga piso bill Aro mapasakaan kini kaso o ga mahunong na ang ilegal niya nga kanihukan. Si Police Colonel Irenio Dalugdog, ang hepe sa Cebu City Police Office, nang kanayon ngayon ang gipa-alerto ang mga personal ilibina sa 11 ka mga police station nga monitoron ang pagkatap sa dilitinood ng kwarta. Makigalayon sila sa CIDG7, sanglit sa Dakmay sa Sugbuman na dakpan ang suspitsado na si Mario Pason na taga-barangay poblasyon Dakmayan sa Lapulapo. Miyangkon si Pason nga doon na daghan nga nakapalit kaniya sa iyang ipamaligya ng peke ng kwarta o dako ang posibilidad nga daghan ang mabiktima na ini. Amo na mong ikuan ka ron, oh. Uh, anytime mag-coordinate mi sa CIDG7 para atong mapalagman ang ato ang investigasyon para kini mga involved aning uh, mga personalities about aning uh, fake money ato gid silang matakpan diha diha dayon. Nabantayan sa kapulisan nga muuso ang pagpayot sa peke nga kwarta kung dunay nagsigabot kada kung kalihukan kini sama sa sinulog Pasko ug eleksyon ang dali nga mabiktima sa mong peke nga kwarta mao katong nga mga manindahay sa merkado sa Rizal Store ug uban pa nga tindahan nga dunay daghang customer nga dili na makabantay nga ang ilang nang dawat nga bayad dili diay kini tinuod nga kwarta. Gumi kani ni pahingbang no si Dalugdog sa publiko nga magmatngon og susihon gyud ang madawat nga bayan pinagi sa pagsusi sa kwarta sanglit dali ra kini mailhan ang tinuod ug ang peke nga kwarta kasagaran na na giprint nila bisan pag gwapo nga quality ang pagkaprint niya pero itom gini siya kini siya kay mahalata ni mo nga kanang kuan gyud siya kanang medyo na yellow gold so buti pa sabot original gini siya nga kwarta ang another nga kuan nimo tandaan nimo ani imong timan an kining watermarks watermarks kanang kini siya kining picture ani tulo ka tao kung imo ni siya ang i Ipa kwan baka nang ipahangad tan-aw ni mo musihag ni siya samtang gipanakop sa mga manindahay sa merkado sa lungsu sa ronda ang babae ug lalaki nga taga Luzon human migamit og pig nga kwarta sa ilang pagpamalit og atay sa manok ug limpo gahapon sa alas 6:45 sa gabi ang mga nadagpan gila nga sila nga Jennifer Sinyal 43 anyos nga taga Lunggo sa Bulacan ug Ali Ramirez Sukayan 35 anyos nga taga Barangay Bagong Silang Dakbayan sa Kalookan mato ni Police Major Marijin Incho Information Officer sa Cebu Police Provincial Office nga nagpadayon pa karon ang investigasyon sa Ronda Police Station kun daghan na ba ang nga biktima sa mga suspitsado tungod sa mong hitabog ipaalerto na ni pulis sa Colonel Romero Chabe ang tanang police station sa Lalawigan aron mabantayan ang posibleng pagkuyanap sa peking akwarta So gihangyo na mo ang tanang subuanons nga kanang lalo na ang katong mga business establishments nga magbinantayon especially sa mga fake monies nga posible nga na ay from other other provinces or something na mutira diri sa ato ah. so magbinantayon lang jud Arnold Bustamante si si Tano Gipasalig sa kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo nga ikabot sa Hunyo 12 wa na ilibot suroy nga makita diha sa kadalanan ang kasayuran ihatod pagbalik ni Arnold Bustamante Nagtambaya yung karoon na kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo, Prevention, Restoration, Order, Beautification, Enhancement Control Team, Cebu City Anti-Mendicancy, Task Force sa Street Children, Uban sa City Legal Office, Department of Social Welfare and Services, aro matuman ang kamanduan ni Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama nga malimpyo ang Dakbayan sa Sugbo, gikan sa hugaw o gamahipos aga mga libot suroy sa kadalanan. Mato ni Police Colonel Renew Dalugdog, ang hepe sa Cebu City Police Office, nga sa dilipa ang Hunyo 12, 2023, ilan ang makabot ang paglimpyo sa syudad, o wala ni makita ang mga nangatulog sa asiras o nagpakilibos niya sa kadalanan. Bihatag sa kapulisan ang ilang tibok suporta sa mga programa sa mayor, ilibina ang beautification project ni ini sa tinguha nga makabot ang Singapore-like Cebu City. O uh, hilabay na gayon, uh, hugot ang among uh, suporta sa City uh, Social Welfare Services nga sila ang uh, led uh, agency ani para sa pagtuman. No? Uh, kita kanunay kita nag-assist ani nila Uh, magtuyok-tuyok diri sa siyudad sa Sugbo para ipatuman ang direktiba sa atong uh, halangdon na mayor si Honorable uh, Michael Lopez Rama uh, ang iyang direktiba nga uh, before
June 12 uh, wala na yung mga uh, libot suroy o kini mga tao nga naa sa mga kalikali dire sa siyudad sa Subo. Ibudyag ni Dalugdo nga gatog mga tao nga naa sa ilawom sa mga taytayan na muyo o mga tulog gipanghingin na kini o gipapauli sa probinsya samtang ang ubang pamilya gipahimutang sa South Road Properties. Di monitor kini sa Matag Police Station nga dali mamalig ang mga mga tao aron mapadayon ang kalimpyo sa kasapaan sa Dakbayan. Bisag uh, katong niaging mga walkthrough nga among nahibalan nga nangagi na ay mga kanang under sa gini sa ilalom sa tulay na apoy mga tao nga diha matulog so kana siya tanan gina monitor na, na sila sa atong kapulisan para lang gyud uh, limpyo na ang atong siyudad sa Subo Gidubli pa sa kapulisan ang ilang trabaho nga mao ang pagpamintal sa mga kongkretong kural o mga paril diha sa kadalanan. Ngayon sa gawa sa Camp Sotero Kabahog sa Daan Gurdo, gitabangan sa mga pulis ng paghawan sa siras ano mapalapda ng sidewalk o ilang isunod ang pagpintal nini. Giyawahag usab nila aga mga establisimento nga sila usab aga mupintal o mulimpyo sa nang tungkaran aging suporta sa programa sa mayor nga gihulagway ni Dalugdog nga aga mga kabenepisyo nini. Mauro usab ang mga sugbo anon. Nagtapod na sa mga barangay uh, captain, mga barangay officials kay uh, dili lang ni siya mahimo yun sa atong mga kapulisan no uh, gitap nato ang tanang uh, sector sa uh, kuan diri sa siyudad sa Subo para lang yun makatabang ta in fact ang kining ng mga kuan mga uh, business owner establishment ato silang gi-convince na kadtong naay mga vandalism uh, na sa ilahang area uh, sila na mismo ang uh, magpintura Sa rigon si Dalogdo nga sa Honyo 12, 2023, mahuman na nila ang pagpalindot liha sa kadalanan sa Dakbayan. Arnold Bustamante, CCTNU. Mau kan to ato mga balita sa alas 12, sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong Sire Corinta Isyate karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat. Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family. Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family. Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
this Eucharistic celebration with the intentions entrusted to us and our personal intentions, let us offer this Mass today for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today. And in a particular and special way, we pray for Father Abel Villarojo, who is celebrating his 13th uh, ordination anniversary to the priesthood today. And also, we continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCT and through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, look with compassion on our affliction, and so lighten your children's burden and confirm their faith, that they may always trust without hesitation in your fatherly providence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Tobit. When the angel Raphael and Tobiah had entered Media and were getting close to Ekbatana, Raphael said to the boy, Tobiah, my brother, he replied, here I am. He said, tonight we must stay with Raguel, who is a relative of yours. He has a daughter named Sarah. So he brought him to the house of Raguel, whom they found seated by his courtyard gate. They greeted him first. He said to them, Greetings to you, two brothers. Good health to you and welcome. And he brought them into his home. Raguel slaughtered a ram from the flock and gave them a cordial reception. When they had bathed and reclined to eat, Tobiah said to Raphael, Brother Azariah, as Raguel, ask Raguel to let me marry my kinswoman, Sarah. Raguel overheard the words, so he said to the boy, Eat and drink and be merry tonight, for no man is more entitled to marry my daughter, Sarah, than you, brother. Besides, not even I have the right to give her to anyone but you, because you are my closest relative. But I will explain the situation to you very frankly. I have given her in marriage to seven men, all of whom were kinsmen of ours, and all died on the very night they approached her. But now, son, eat and drink. I am sure the Lord will look after you both. Tobiah answered, I will eat or drink nothing until you set aside what belongs to me. Raguel said to him, I will do it. She is yours according to the decree of the law book of Moses. Your marriage to her has been decided in heaven. Take your kinswoman. From now on, you are her love and she is your beloved. She is yours today and ever after. And tonight, son, may the Lord of heaven prosper you both. May he grant you mercy and peace. Then Raguel called his daughter Sarah, and she came to him. He took her by the hand and gave her to Tobiah with the words, Take her according to the law. 
according to the decree written in the book of Moses. She is your wife. Take her and bring her back safely to your father. And may the God of heaven grant both of you peace and prosperity. Raguel then called Sarah's mother and told her to bring a scroll so that he might draw up a marriage contract stating that he gave Sarah to Tobiah as his wife according to the decree of the Mosai law. Her mother brought the scroll and Raguel drew up the contract to which they affixed their seals. Afterward, they began to eat and drink. Later, Raguel called his wife Edna and said, My love, prepare the other bedroom and bring the girl there. She went and made the bed in the room, as she was told, and brought the girl there. After she had cried over her, she wiped away the tears and said, Be brave, my daughter. May the Lord grant you joy in place of your grief. Courage, my daughter. Then she left. When the girl's parents left the bedroom and closed the door behind them, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. She got up and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. And they began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praise be your name forever and ever. And let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the one to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine not because of lust, but of a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen, and went to bed for the night. The word of the Lord. is the man blessed 
the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this, hear O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said teacher, you are right in saying he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. A blessed Thursday to us. Before we forget the, the, read, the first readings from a couple of days ago until today, we are always taken into perspective how this good example of the two newly wed, although the, the woman, Sarah, had already been married for seven, time, seven times already. But this is a very beautiful perspective and uh, part of the, of the scriptures where husbands and wives should, should pray every night, you know, something like that. That's an example of keeping the love together and, well, in response to God's love for them and for all of us. No? Katorang mga minyo, of course. But of course, those who are single, we also have to do our prayers as well. In other words, this is a very good lesson. No? Before sleeping, we should not forget the Lord. Dili tama, malingaw sa mga social media or something. On the, before we know it, kadlaw na di ay. No? So, prayer is always a very significant part in our lives. Now, what I prepared actually for today, for our reflection, is this little bit of a commentary on what Jesus resp how Jesus responded to the scribe who was actually uh, asking him uh, a known, an already known thing. No, because Jesus is a Jew. So every Jew knows this from the very beginning, like from seven years old. No, the Shema Israel, as uh, the scriptures would tell us. No, listen or hear, O Israel. But when Jesus acknowledged his response, because what Jesus was doing was he changed, no? He was asked, but his answer was to ask the question as well back to the one who asked him. 
And then he said, you are not far from the kingdom of heaven or from the kingdom of God. My question to this statement is, why did Jesus say you are not far? You are near. No? You are close to the kingdom of God. Now, it just came to my mind that there is some kind of a reverse psychology that the statement contains. No? See, Jesus, the I psychologist, po, no? he was using some kind of a reverse psychology. You know, something that challenges everyone. Because you are already close, you are near to the kingdom of God. No, what happens? Palagay lai na tao, we wallow on things, confident, confident tak ayuta, wa na tay buhaton. But Jesus' answer is, you are not far, meaning to say, there is still a strength, there is still a stretch that we have to do. So that we can even more uh, inspire and encourage to do better in our lives. Usahay, we need a reverse psychology in our lives, baya. Kay magsalig ya puta usahay. No, we need to be challenged, we need to be pushed, we need to be constantly reminded so that we do what we ought to do, or in fact, we can do as much or better than is, than is expected from us. We are talking here about some mediocrity that most of us are actually experiencing or we are just trying to, on, to cover ourselves with. Oh, okay na ni, okay na ni siya, okay na ni siya, igo na ni siya. No? But that's not what the Lord wants us to do. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your strength, and with all your soul. That is a challenge to do and to, to, to be able to do what is best. Not to give only what is better, but to really go beyond what we can. But of course, that is with the help of God. That's why we did prayer as our anchorage. Amen. The love of God and neighbor is the greatest of all the commandments. May we be known as Christians by our love. And we now pray to the Lord as we say, Lord, help us to love you and one another. Lord, help us to love you and one another. May we show our love for God by loving our neighbors. For he who says, I love God, but hates his brother or sister is a liar. We pray. Lord, help us to love you and one another. May we show our love not in word or speech, but in deed and in truth, we pray. Lord, help us to love you and one another. May we show our love not only in extraordinary circumstances, but in day-to-day -day faithfulness to our duties and in our patience in bearing life's burdens, we pray. Lord, help us to love you and one another. May we shun anger and hostility and resolve conflicts, problems, and differences through dialogue and mutual respect, we pray. Lord, help us to love you and one another. May healthcare workers who died while ministering to victims of infectious diseases receive the eternal reward for their self-sacrificing love, we pray. Lord, help us to love you and one another. Lord God, he who abides in you abides in love. Help us to mirror your love by your faithful, sacrificing, and joyful love for one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we confidently bring before you, and turn, we pray, the bitterness of the sorrow we bear into a sweet and fragrant sacrifice before you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift your heart to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith and Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil and Ruben, his assistant bishops, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. We humbly entreat you, Lord, that nourished and fortified by this divine banquet, we may have strength to face future trials with fortitude and to lend more generous help to our brothers and sisters in time of trouble through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family.